always grateful for any kind words anyone has to say about my coverage, whether it's like this in spoken form or written. I only cringe at one thing, and that's when someone says, you speak for all of us. I actually don't. I just speak for me. I'd never presume otherwise. And that is the foundation for today's episode. Good morning. I'm Dan Kovacevic of DK Pittsburgh Sports. This is Daily Shot of Pirates. It comes your way bright and early every weekday. And I also offer daily shots of Steelers and Penguins that you're free to check out. This show today is all yours. And that's because yesterday I posed a question to you. Because I am genuinely curious to hear whether or not fans will feel placated by the return of Andrew McCutcheon in the event that Brian Reynolds gets traded. And yes, that's a hypothetical, but there's a lot that's wrapped into that, obviously, including emotionally. And I'm in no position to judge that. But I'm really, really curious about this because if it happens, if Reynolds gets traded and the reaction around here is kind of muted just because, oh, well, we have Kutch, you know, so I asked and you responded. I got comments on our website, DK Pittsburgh Sports, on YouTube, on Twitter. I got a handful by email and I'm not going to come close to being able to read even parts of all of them in this episode, but I am going to to invest both portions of this episode so there won't be a J1Q today. And I'm going to get started here. We have so many good ones, and it's, it's interesting that a lot of you took this exercise and stretched it beyond the parameters that were outlined, uh, beginning with J. He writes simply, wait, isn't Reynolds guaranteed till 2025? There was a lot of that. Just saying, I don't even want to hear about Reynolds going somewhere. He's under contract. What's he going to do? Just walk away from it because his agent said something? Bob Elliott says anyone can get into the semantics of the Reynolds trade request, whether it was initiated by him or his agent. Uh, In parentheses, I can tell you here it was initiated by the agent. Fact is, the request was made in that naturally conjures the perception that the Pirates' best player doesn't want to be here. That's how I take it. And any team that respects itself and its manner of doing business should go about seeking a trade. I like the player. Heard he's a good guy. I hate that he requested the trade. The signing of Kutch, in my opinion, doesn't have much to do with this. Cozy says, I want the Pirates to sign Reynolds long term. That's not because I have any particular attachment to him. I don't really. But because I want to see the Pirates brass actually step up and pay someone what they're worth instead of a bargain bin team friendly contract. If he's traded, I'll be annoyed. Phil says the Reynolds and Kutch decisions are completely separate things in my mind. The Kutch decision is based on the team that they plan to field in 2023, and that's a great move for the coming year. The Reynolds decision is based on how they intend to contend at the top of the league. If they're unwilling to keep a player like Reynolds, it's fair to question how they're building this team for the future and really puts the plan that this front office is working toward in doubt. Ohio Black and Gold says, on the field, Kutch won't replace Reynolds, but Kutch just replaced him as the face of the Bucks. I like Reynolds and hope he stays, but the Pirates could have just paid him and prevented the situation. They have to pay someone at some point, right? Lots and lots of this, and very little of it uh, is about deciding between the two. Connor Williams had one of my favorite entries in saying it's very hard for me to relate the two since Andrew's return is so fresh in my mind and the Reynolds question has been an unfun slog of hypothetical returns and extension numbers for months now. If we're a couple months into the coming season and maybe there isn't as much growth at the major league level as you need to see, then maybe our major prospects are seriously underperforming and that would change everything about how I see it. Bill comes at us 
right from field level and says, as a longtime season ticket holder who's been around for the bad and then a glimpse of good and then back to awful, it is important to me to see them commit to Reynolds as a sign of good faith that I stuck around for a reason. Always love to hear from the people who are at the games. It's, it's one of my, uh, it, it's been one of my things for a long time. I just place a greater weight in that. Maybe that's not fair. Jim says, I thought Charrington had two jobs this offseason. One was to fill the obvious roster holes, first base DH, left-handed starting pitcher, and a right-handed hitting outfielder. Well, the Kutch signing checked off the last box. The other was to sign Reynolds long-term, and that still can be done, loud rhetoric notwithstanding. I see where everybody's going here. You're, you're kind of giving it to me for connecting the two, and maybe this is what I get for asking this of a group that knows their stuff versus just, you know, rambling about uh, Market Square and saying, hey, you, what would happen in this event? And I'd probably get a whole lot more that was related uh, to my original question. Uh, AWM comes back with another one that says, no, Reynolds and McCutcheon are totally separate deals. Kutch is a great guy, but he's 36 and no longer a star. Nice story, good piece, and that's it. Reynolds is in his prime, and while it doesn't appear he's got an MVP in his future, he's not the type that you're going to find in a free agent bin in January for 5 mil. In other words, you know, go sign him. Joe says, DK, I don't see much, if any, relationship at all between the Kutch signing and the Reynolds situation. It's apples and oranges. With Kutch, the Pirates finally took an opportunity to help the team and at the same time create goodwill. Front office is usually pretty tone deaf, but I don't think they're so cynical to believe that signing Kutch is going to provide cover for a Reynolds trade. When we come back, more of these entries and my general thoughts on this. This portion of Daily Shot of Pirates is brought to you by our friends at North Shore Tavern that's directly across Federal Street from PNC Park. It's home of Steak on a Stone, an eating experience, underscoring the word experience. The steak is brought to you partially cooked on an 800 degree stone and you do the rest. It's a ton of fun, it's a great meal, and it's a baseball atmosphere like no other in Pittsburgh. North Shore Tavern, right across Federal Street from PNC Park. Welcome back. More of your thoughts on keeping Brian Reynolds versus adding Andrew McCutcheon and the role that the latter could possibly play in placating a trade. Mike Zampano says, I have to say, I'd love to see them extend Reynolds, and I think keeping him would take pressure off of Kutch. Without Reynolds, fans would expect Kutch to carry the offense, which he's no longer able to do. That's an interesting point. Dave says, don't tell me about prospects in a deal for Reynolds. We've seen all these wonderful prospects come to our farm clubs over the last 40 years that disintegrate with very few exceptions. The few that actually make it to the bigs either move on to another club where they find success or the club won't pay them what they're worth. Until the Pirates start locking up young stars like O'Neal Cruz, who's the guy I was just about to mention, would be one of the rare positive examples, to long-term contracts, they demonstrate zero commitment to the future success of the franchise, other than to build up Bob Nutting's net worth, of course. can't believe it took us that long to get to a shot at Nutting. Not that he doesn't have those coming. Brooke sent an entry my way, and she says, DK, I'd be fine with a Reynolds trade. It's hard to see a new contract for him, so either sign him now or trade him. His values is as high as it's going to get. Hopefully there are other teams making offers out there that'll help the Pirates get what it is that they're they're hoping to acquire. We'll do a couple more of these. Idaho says, quite frankly, Kutch's presence does make it easier 
to trade Reynolds because I believe Kutch can still contribute in the field, not every day, but enough to make up for swapping an outfielder for a major league pitcher. That said, these are two very different situations, and having Kutch doesn't make any difference if they can get a real return for Reynolds. Desmond blows open the whole box here by saying, essentially, why are we even talking about these two players? O'Neill Cruz is the potential MVP. He's the real franchise guy. Seeing Reynolds leave will be a short-term setback, but to let a developed star in Cruz leave would be absolutely devastating. Cruz has the talent to make everyone forget Reynolds very quickly. I, I hear you, all of you. Um, including the ones that have nothing in common with each other. And I appreciate the heavy feedback and apologize to everybody. Uh, and there was way more of you who didn't get read than who did. My feeling on this is to always open any process of evaluating what the Pirates have done with a cynical eye. That's what you deserve when you have failed for so long at so many different things. It's what you deserve whenever it's become your default to do the wrong thing or to have wound up doing the wrong thing, even when it would have appeared that you did the right thing. They're just not very good at what they do, and they haven't been through several different management teams. However, however, I do very much appreciate and support the idea that these should be separate things. That Kutch signing, how do I say this without sounding like I'm knocking him in some way? But he's he's not that guy anymore. And even if he does what he did a couple years ago and hitting nearly 30 homers in Philadelphia, or even just the 17 that he hit in Milwaukee last year, uh, He's going to look like an impact player at times. He's going to have dramatic hits. He's going to have dramatic moments. And we all, as this is human nature, are going to inflate those appropriately. But he's not going to have anywhere near the impact that a Reynolds would. And he shouldn't be placating his presence. His acquisition shouldn't be placating anybody in the event of a trade. I am heartened to hear a lot of people express their views on trading Reynolds and to hear that they're pretty much in line with my own. I don't see a positive in trading him. I don't see any circumstance in which the Pirates come out of that uh, looking better, even if the baseball component is weighed toward them, heavily toward them. I know that sounds like a silly thing to say. But there does come a time when you got to keep people. Reynolds is that line. It's not Cruz. They're going to want to move that line, but they shouldn't be allowed to. I appreciate everybody that was involved in this. Thank you so much. Tomorrow we'll have just a regular old daily shot of Pirates. Pirates.